Hello, I'm Michaela with Girls Who Code, back with step three of part three in the Poetry Remix tutorial. In this step, we'll learn how to collect input from a user and assign user input to our variables. By the end of this step, our program will prompt the user to change the poem by typing in words and pressing enter. The program will do this three times. In our poem generator, we want our poet or user to give us words that we can use in our program. We call this user input. It is information sent to the program that the program uses as it runs. User input are actions like mouse clicks and keyboard presses. In our case, we want a user to be able to type a word and press enter or return to send the word to our program. Let's get to it. You can code along with the video or watch it first, then add your code using the to-do list under the video. In the last step, we made three variables. Now we can use these to store user input. That way we can type the variable name whenever we want to access user input. Let's go to our first variable, relation. I will delete friends and the quotes. Then type input parentheses quotes. Next, in between the parentheses and quotes, we can type in a message to the user so the user will know what to do. Please type in a type of relationship and press enter. Make these changes in your own code. You can customize your message to the user, but remember to make it clear to the user what they should do. This will not end up in our final project, but let's add a print statement to see what is happening. On the next line of code, I will add print parentheses and the name of the variable relation. Let's run our code. In our console, it should display the prompt. Our prompt is please type in a type of relationship and press enter. The program is now waiting for the user to press enter before it continues to run. We'll put in the relation family and press enter. The next line of code displays the value of relation, which is now family. Then it displays the poem. Let's repeat this process for the rest of our variables. We'll delete laughs and type input parentheses quotes. Please type in a noun and press enter. Next, we'll delete spend and type input parentheses quotes. Please type in a verb and press enter. Let's run the code one more time and a prompt displays in the console. We'll type in family and press enter. Another prompt pops up. We'll type in food and press enter. And our last prompt shows up. We'll type in code. We'll press enter and the poem displays in the console. That's it for step three. In the next step, we'll learn about different ways you can classify information. Get ready for data types.